So this is part of the second um, this is the second video where I um, solve questions related to different angles and different quadrants. Um, so I've decided to split the videos up because it takes longer to explain some of the parts. So um, in this part, I'm going to explain how to solve equations and find all solutions. So this is important when you are going to end up solving really complicated equations. So they will involve more involve more signs, but eventually you will always reduce the equations to something like this. And once you get to this section, you need to know what to do and you need to make sure that you find all solutions. So um, <clears throat> Right now we are restricted within the domain of zero to two pi, um, but I will explain what happens when your um, domain is not restricted. So for these examples, you are expected to know some of the exact values. So in the table of the exact values, you should know what sine theta is equal to, um, when is sine theta equal to half and so on. So um, you could know this by saying, oh, well, this is 30 degrees and then convert this to radians and this should give you pi over six. Okay, so this is pi over 6, and um, but this is the angle in the first quadrant. So keep in mind, your calculator will only give you one angle, and it will only give you the closest quadrant it's related to. So sine theta here is positive. So let's first know that sine theta is positive. Um, I didn't need to write 1, but anyways, it's, it's positive. So um, it means that I need to find the solutions in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So remember, it's all students take calculus. I'm just going to write it on the side. So all students take calculus. It's positive. So I need to look at the first and the second quadrant. So I'm looking at first and second quadrant. The calculator will automatically give me the, the first quadrant, not the first, as in the, the, um, the closest quadrant it will get to when it goes anti-clockwise and that is the acute angle here so the first quadrant so this is the pi over six but i need to find the other angle which belongs in the second quadrant and we know that the second quadrant will be um one sorry not 180 pi minus your theta um, let's call this theta one and this theta two so it's pi minus theta one so it's pi minus pi over six and um I'm just going to show you by hand how to do that. So you have, you multiply this times 6 times 6, get the same denominator, you have 5 pi over 6. So your two sets of solutions here are your theta equals pi over 6 and theta equals 5 pi over 6. And you can check that when you evaluate your sign at those exact two values, you will get a positive 1 over 2. Now, what about a negative? Well, to deal with a negative, so this is a, a negative. So you look at your um, uh, sign, the, the, um, the all students take calculus um, graph, and decide where is cosine negative. So cosine is negative in the second and third quadrant. So we want solutions in the second and the third quadrant. So this is important. But in order to find them, so remember all the formulas that we had, um, the, the pi minus theta, pi plus theta, uh, to pi minus theta, the theta always came from the acute angle. So it's important to first deal with the acute angle. And in order to do this, what you're going to do is just convert this to a positive. So this is what you're always going to do. I mean, it's not the only method, but it's the easiest method. Just convert the answer you have into a positive one and try to find or try to remember what is cos inverse of a positive root 2 over 2, root square root 2 over 2. Now, if you wrote negative in your calculator, your calculator is going to give you the, si the second quadrant one. So as I said, it's going to give you the closest one it will get to. So it will give you this, but then you need to find the third quadrant. Without a calculator, you'll have to um, convert it to a positive, determine what it is in the um, first quadrant. So cosine of root 2 over 2 is uh, pi over 4 or uh, 4 to 5 degrees. So this is 4 to 5 degrees. And then um, this is the first quadrant, but I need it in the second and the third quadrant. So I need to go pi uh, plus pi over 4, and I need to go pi minus pi over 4. And this is going to give me... Um, 
5 pi over 4 and this will be 3 pi over 4. And so my set of solutions are this and this and you can check that cos 5 pi over 4 is going to give you a negative root 2 over 2 and a cos 3 pi over 4 is going to give you a negative root 2 over 2. So just determining what sign and what quadrant you need is important but then it's easier to find the theta within the first quadrant so the acute angle and then you find the associated angles. Um, for this one tan theta equals root 3 so this is positive which means I need the first quadrant and I need the uh, th oh, third quadrant. So first and third quadrant, this is where it's positive. If it was negative, then I need it in the second and the fourth, but it's positive here. So um, theta tan inverse of root three. Again, you should know this. Um, what's easier to do with the exact uh, table is to just calculate, remember the sine theta and cos theta, and then create an extra table where you divide sine theta by cos theta to get the tan theta uh, values, but this will be um, pi over 3, which is 60 degrees. So you have the pi over 3, and then, so this is the first quadrant, so we have the first quadrant, third quadrant will be pi plus pi over 3, and uh, that will be 4 pi over 3. So your two solutions are this and this. Now, if the question said that the equation has to be between 2 pi and 4 pi, what this means is that you're going around again in the circle. So all because uh, 4 pi means that you, you've rotated twice, it means that you need to add an extra rotation. So you need to add a 2 pi to every single solution you have not not as a let me just clarify not to replace these but to add on top of these solutions so your solutions will be pi over 6 5 pi over 6 and then the um, the multiples of um, those so um, as in adding multiples of 2 pi uh, but this time we only need one multiple so you're gonna add 2 pi on top of the pi over 6, so um, that's going to be 13 pi over 6, and then you're going to add 2 pi on top of this, so that's going to be 17 pi over 6. So these two are technically equal in terms of like and the acute angle association, except that this just goes an extra um, revolution around. So what it does is if this was your uh, pi over 6, then the other one is just uh, going around and then back here again. So um, this happens when your domain changes, so you need to be aware of the domain, but if it's within 2 pi, you're, it means you're within one rotation, so you just keep the solutions as they are.